Can't get hold of Harmar Superstar. All, All right, right then. then. I've got an answer for you. Right? Yeah. Let's do this. Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. And Aubrey. And Harmar Superstar. Yeah. All right. Two features in one. Ellie, call Harmar. Now. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him on the first. <laughs> Harmar's not picking up. <sighs> meant to be a guest on the show. Not very professional. Yeah. Hey, it's Harmar. Leave me a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished, you may hang up or press 1 to change your message. Good morning, George. It's Audrey Long speaking. I'm trading as Aubrey Long, haulage contractor, my late husband. Um, I supply all sorts of aggregates, all the sands and shingles, and I'd like to say a big thank you to all my customers who have uh, supported me, and trust that all goes well for them. Thank you. Cold landing! There you go, Harmar. <laughs> <laughs> have, have some of that. <laughs> Not so much of a superstar now, are No, you? yeah. Who's, <laughs> who's feeling super now, Harmar? We showed him, I think, guys. Yeah. 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 Uh, Harmar superstar, anyone? Oh, yeah. Harmar? Cold landing! <laughs> who's talking? For Shevel. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Ring any bells, Harmar? Yeah, yeah, I remember I woke up to that. <laughs> I missed about nine phone calls yesterday. D- did, did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, I think at the time you were calling me, I was uh, dead asleep on the floor of a spiritualized van on the way back from Glastonbury. I didn't want to hear that. I wanted to hear you were draped in 15 gorgeous women that you picked up from the burlesque tent and you were just well, driving yeah. them all home. You didn't let me finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did they? <laughs> yes, that's the big question, <laughs> Harmar. <laughs> um, so, uh, so how was Glastonbury? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> I'm just uh, dealing with the effects now. So it's, really? Um, what, it's a good time. Where were you playing there? Uh, I, I'm on tour this summer with Neon Neon. I'm a member of the band. And, uh, and um, we played at the other stage on Saturday, and I also got up on stage with... MGMT and the Whip and the Black Lips. I mean, you generally just got up on stage. Stage that's, crashing. That's just what that's just what Harmar does. What I, I do. I, have you got a Have you got a desire to uh, to crash any more stages this summer? Do you think? I mean, yeah, most likely. I think I'm going to be crashing the Mighty Boost stage at the festival this weekend, so that should be fun. That's good news. So I, I didn't realise you were part of Neon Neon. We had Neon Neon in the hub, and 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 we we loved them, and uh, you weren't there. Oh uh, yeah, you know I've been. Uh, I, uh, I just came over for the for the live gigs. Oh, I so let you... those guys do their press because right, okay. too many cooks in the kitchen, man. Too many cooks in the kitchen. You're just coming over for the glory and the girls. Exactly. Uh, now, uh, now, obviously, Harmar, uh, your real name is Sean, but uh, you got your name from a from a shopping centre in Minnesota. Is that right? It, indeed, I did. Okay, and and do you, do you frequent the Har? It's the Harmar Mall. I do. I haven't been there for a while. I haven't lived in Minneapolis for a while. I've lived in L.A. for about the last five years. So. Okay, much, much nicer climate, I would imagine. It's true. It's true. The summers in Minnesota are really nice, though. So. Right, okay. And and how's it going? I mean, obviously, I, I know you're spending your summer, uh, you know, hanging out with the Neon Neon Boys, but uh, how's how's life in the uh, the world of, of the solo artist that is Harmar? It's good. The album's almost done. The new album, uh, hopefully, it'll be coming out in the fall or spring, and then... Uh, and uh, things are going really well. I'm doing a couple of shows myself, playing the Mighty Bush Festival, and then I'm going up to Scotland and Northern England to do some some other gigs. Oh, so, so you're ba- times. okay? So you, this is just you at the Mighty Bush. It's not Neon Neon. This is Harmar. Oh yeah, no, we play. I play with wire. I play wireless with Neon Neon early in the day on the fifth, and then okay. I go over to Kent and, and do a Harmar set. Well, you're all you're all fun. over the place. Uh, now you, you're you I, I got a couple of notes here. I just want to. Uh, you wrote some songs for uh, for Disney's The Cheetah Girls. Um, uh, okay. But for some reason, uh, they were never recorded because when they looked into your background, they thought it was perhaps inappropriate you were writing songs aimed at 12 year olds. Yeah, well, that's just me sort of uh, speculating, you know. It's not really like you can get the answer, but I'm, I'm guessing if, you know, if uh, any of the Disney people cruised the web for more than 30 seconds, they'd probably find a naked picture of me. So. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do, actually, the Disney people. They're just out there looking <laughs> for naked pictures of Harmar. I know. And then, and then Britney, Britney rejected a song called Tall Boy. Yeah, that was the management that, that uh, came back. It was when she was having her first baby, so like they, they wanted her to be... <laughs> they thought she was going to go down more an adult uh, kind of... Uh, 
kind of, uh, you know, higher road, but um, you saw what happened with that. So you yeah, know, we'll, that, that didn't work out very well <laughs> at all, did it? Uh, I Harmar, it was really entertainment, though. It's it's a pleasure talking to you, sir. I, I for one, am hoping uh, that one day you can slip one in uh, under uh, under the watchful eye of uh, of one of the big corporations uh, or indeed uh, one of these superstar artists, and and we can all have a laugh at their expense. Oh, it'll be fun. You know, it's not even going for the. It's not for the expense. You know, I mean, I think like. I, I'm really into pop music, so, so you know. I guess, it's all, it's all, it's all, uh... It's all about the money, then? Well, yeah, it's all about making a lot of money. <laughs> it's all about making a lot of money, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, Harm, I have to ask you very quickly, uh, our podcast, uh, our podcast came out uh, on Friday. It was only our second one. I believe we're top 50 in the iTunes list. Uh, can you give us your solemn promise that you will be downloading it? I will be downloading Fan- the podcast. Fantastic. I- I'm looking here uh, I'm looking here at your list of gigs, by the way, also. 23rd of July, do you think you might be free? Uh, maybe, yeah. Well, okay. what's, what's going uh, on? We're not, we're not having... There's a lot of festivals around this year, so we're not going to have one uh, on the 23rd of, the, of July. It's called Give It a Rest of All. Do you, th- <laughs> do, you, do you think you could guarantee not to come to that? I can probably work that in. Oh, so what is, can I take that as a confirmation? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm confirmed. I'm confirmed. Fantastic. Yeah. No harm on everybody. Yeah. 100% no harm on. Six music.